Um, the band coming up now was uh, the first band that, when I met Billy Brown, he was like 16 years old. He was a kid, you know. He was a, a smoking guitar player, and these guys had a band called Starstruck. But me and Lou Whitney used to mispronounce it as Star's Truck. And it always annoyed the hell out of them. But, and that, that's pretty much mine and Lou's job, is to annoy the hell out of everybody. But I've known these guys since they were kids, and um, Billy was more than the music that, that drew us together. The thing that, that Billy and I always had together was he was like, had the weirdest sense of humor of anybody that I ever knew. And every day when I, when I see something weird, I think, man, that's Billy. And one of his best friends, the guy that uh, babysat him for years and years, the Mistakes Road Manager, Roger Starnes, is going to come out and introduce the band. And Roger was with him through thick and thin and always, and he's one of He's a, one of my best friends, you know, man. Hello. Thank you. Could I get these lights turned down, Mark, or anybody back there, please? Thank you. Right here. This little boogie amplifier. Would somebody put the light on that if you're back there or not? God, I wish you would. I'm over here. Now I'm over here. I want to say... On behalf of the mistakes, thank you to everybody that showed up here tonight. Unbelievable. You throw one more thing at me. This band is a copycat band in a lot of ways. They were big fans of everybody that stood on this stage tonight. Everybody from Granny's Bathwater to Bubble to Driveway, Fool's Face. Ozark Mountain Daredevils, the Morels, Lou Whitney. These guys loved everybody. And we stole every good idea they ever had. And we tried to do it a little better and we never got there. But I tell you what, Fool's Face tonight made me cry. And I love them and they're so good. It was unbelievable. The Daredevils were great. Tonight, it's really hard for all of us in the mistakes. It's, but, when Steve called me and said we were going to do this, and he said, you know, I got this idea, I think where the mistakes are going to play, and I said, Steve, it's not a good idea, because the mistakes are Billy Brown. He said, yeah, but we got Terry Wilson, I said, it's a good idea. So, for those of you that don't know, this is the first time in 24 years the mistakes will play as a five-piece. Stage tonight are one of the most exciting bands in the 1980s. <laughs> and I love them very, very much. On bass guitar, starting out tonight, there will be three bass players. First will be Kevin Brashears, the original bass player from the Mistakes. Second, second will be Ronnie Butler, who took over and wrote some of the best songs the Mistakes ever recorded. And then finally, Eddie Hines will finish off the set. Starting off, as he did in the mistakes history, will be Jerry Ravella on drums. And rockin' Stevie Klingen will be singing the song tonight. Nobody could sell the band like Stevie could. Nobody could sell the song like Stevie could. Stevie, you're the man. Thank you very much for coming tonight, and by the way, Terry Wilson, we owe him an incredible, incredible deal. And finally, we had two other play players that showed up tonight, Jeff Lowry, the original keyboard player from The Mistakes, and a very, 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 very special treat, Billy Brown's son, Cooper Brown. I've never done this, and I hope that guy's up there, but if he's not, I'm going to turn this boogie up. 
I, I mixed 500 and something shows for the mistakes, and I always told Billy to turn the boogie down. I'm going to turn the boogie up. Ladies and gentlemen, mistake! Yeah, yeah.